guys, today we are going to be cooking up the perch that we caught a couple weeks ago. Um, the thing that you'll need for today's video, you'll need some salt, some pepper, uh, seasoning of your choice um, that you like to put on your fish, about 10 or more fish fillets, a large bowl, a large pan, a cup of flour, one tablespoon of that seasoning, um, garlic powder, one stick of butter, and your perch fillets, obviously. So, the first step is to season your fish. Um, I've already seasoned this, so I put salt on each fillet, um, salt on each fillet, pepper on each fillet. Now, I'm gonna put some garlic powder on each fillet. So, open that up. Put a little bit of garlic on each fillet. Like so. Then, yo, let's put a little bit of that seasoning. Not a ton here because um, you're going to be putting this in the flour as well. So now that you've done that, you're going to want to push it in to the fillet like so. Like this. Then you're going to flip the fillet. To the other side and do the same thing the other side I'll show you the whole process this time salt each fillet then you're gonna want to pepper each fillet and the fish we are doing today I don't know if I said this already the fish we are doing today is perch you want to put some garlic on each one, not a ton, but enough to coat. Now that you have that on, get a nice pinch of your seasoning. Pack that in. Now, I'm going to rinse my hand off quick. You're gonna take the bowl. You're going to measure out one cup of flour. This is what I'm gonna start with for my fillets. So I'm going to scoop a cup of flour out like this, measure it out and dump it in my bowl. Then I'm going to, um, there's my butter song. Very quality, probably should have put that on side before we started this, whatever. Is that your um, you're going to do, you're going to take um, one tablespoon of your seasoning, or less, whatever you want to do. Put that in there. Then, you're going to grab yourself a fork. And also, we're cooking banana bread, so if you see my mom in the background right now, she's probably taking out the banana bread. Is it done? Yeah, I need you to move for a second. All right. So like I said, I'm gonna mix this up with the flour and the seasoning. I'm gonna mix this up really well. And now, we've done this. Once my mom is done taking that out, I'm gonna turn the pan on and put about a half stick of butter in the, uh, into the pan. Um. So now that I've mixed this up, this we're gonna get a, an, an extra plate. We're gonna come over here, grab ourselves another plate. Now, we're gonna take the fish that we seasoned, put them in the flour one side, flip it, put it in the other side. That plate's done, put it on the plate. Then, we're gonna do the same thing to this one. Flip them on both sides, get some, get some of that flour and seasoning on it. Put it back in. We'll do that same thing again. And now um, I'm gonna do that to all the fillets and we will show uh, the next step to frying them on the pan. No. I'm now gonna start a time lapse of me um, doing all these fish. Set of 
them. And our butter is starting to get fried up over here. So I'm gonna rinse my hand off because I have a little bit of extra flour and stuff on it right now. So I'll try to rinse my hand off that, so. Now, I'm gonna grab a little thing to just push the butter on. Never use metal stuff on your uh, stick proof pans. So I'm just gonna kind of stick the butter around. Um, an optional step here is add a little bit of that seasoning to this um, butter. Um, if you salted your fish and you have that seasoning in the flour, um, I would not recommend putting any more in here. Uh, it would just be, for me, that would be a lot of flavor for me. So, now that we have all the butter in here, it's relatively hot. We're going to take our fillets here, nice and floured. Okay guys, they're just starting to fry. Um, if you're wondering why I wave my uh, hands in front of the screen, it's just so that I can see, stop the time lapse there. But they are starting to fry. Um, I'd say about th three minutes or less on each side. Um, my dad's about to walk in the door here, so if you guys hear him in the background, that's why. So about three minutes or less on each side. And yeah, they should be pretty good. I have it on medium. I, yeah, here, let me show you. So I have it about not super high. About the, like, the perfect amount of high, I would say. But these are just starting to fry up. Getting these seasoned in the back here. Um, I'll do another time. I'll start a time lapse again of me seasoning all these. Um, now that those are starting to fry, that butter will come off when I put them on that plate over there. So again, let's start the time lapse now of me um, seasoning these. Time lapse right there. Yeah. Oh uh, no, that will that part of you talking will be. My dad just got home, guys, and I was just asking a little bit. So to heat up the butter, I have it not on high, but a little bit off high. And then once the fish start frying, turn it to medium heat. As you can see here, um, uh, you can't smell this, but it smells absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna show you guys that one. Um, it's about ready to flip. Uh, a couple more seconds and I would say I would flip it. But anyways, you guys can hear that wonderfulness of them drying up in the background there. So. Anyways, my dad just got home. Um, Looking forward to eating this. My banana bread's over here. Um, My banana bread turned out really good. First time I made a banana bread, it did not turn out good at all. So I'm glad that turned out good. So anyways, I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to film me um, continue... Time lapsing on these fish. Okay. So time lapse starts now. Stop the time lapse right there. 
Okay, guys, the fish are ready to flip. I probably should have flipped them, honestly, a little bit earlier, but... <laughs> so we're gonna flip those. Again, I probably should have flipped them a little bit earlier. They're pretty good, they're pretty good, though. They're golden brown right now. Mm -hmm. So I'll fry them a little bit on that side, and then we're gonna put some more on. Okay, guys, start time lapse again. right there just finished um coating and as you can see i definitely had enough flour for for all those fish um you could save this for next time because this batter is so good to use so i just finished um just finished salting all the fish and as you can see we got some on the pan right now they look absolutely amazing i'll have to pull them off here pretty soon uh, i'm gonna rinse my hand off because i got a little bit of extra seasoning on, on it just about ready to pull off. I got my brother in the background and eat the pasta. I don't know why, but so you're gonna need a Louis Jackson. Please, please. I bought these for you. Okay. I don't know what Saxon's doing. I think I definitely overcooked these ones a little bit. Ooh, they look good. Just because um, I was focusing on coating all the fish, but. Those ones are done. How did that burn through the napkin? Time to throw the other ones on. So now we're frying those ones up. Um, so we have all of them, all of them uh, good there. So we're gonna fry these up, and I will show you guys when we have all of them done. Um. Or I'll just, actually I'll just time lapse these cooking, so I'll start the time lapse now. I flipped them, and these ones are cooked about perfect. Um, golden brown on this side, about ready to take off. Um, those ones I overcooked a little bit, but first I was focusing on getting all these um, coated. So, yeah, and the banana bread apparently is really good. My mom tried it, I haven't tried any yet, so. Oh, wow. Ooh, it looks really moist. Let's try some. Mmm. Real good. But we'll wait till all of them are cooked now, and we'll show you after eating them. Guys, I'm going to take a foie, and I'm gonna just break it open and show you guys what the inside looks like. So, there. There's the camera. There it is. So, there's the inside of the fish. That's what it turned out like. Um. I'm gonna taste it and tell you guys how it is. And the rest of my family is waiting to eat food, so Jack can go ahead and take one. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, guys. Um, overall, I really like the taste of it. So, thanks for watching this video, and see you guys next time.